Heath when I was 13. Wow. In Bristol doing a kind of a workshop for, you know, you know um, well, in theory, talented musicians. And uh, I was one, and that's where I first met him and played um, loads of his tunes. And and he, he did at that point um, promise to use me at some point in the future. And, uh, and yeah, I was involved in Tapestry, uh, sort of early 2000s, and then various different projects from that time onwards, really, yeah. And obviously this was the, the last thing I think we recorded together. Just under two weeks away from the, the real event itself. So how are you feeling about that, Jim? Well, I'm really excited, actually. Um, it's going to be an amazing event, but also, um, yeah, quite a sort of, um, yeah, quite big boots to to fill. I mean, Keith was, you know, sort of towering personality, wasn't he? He's larger than life. His playing was very energised and sort of physical, but also very beautiful as well, I think. <laughs> about this whole you know big journey of this piece is all the different um, moods and um, very different almost different sound worlds that sometimes exist at the same time like there's some quite sort of free if you like kind of jagged improvisations but at the same time out of that emerges these beautiful melodies it's kind of very spiritual music as well I think <laughs> So, no, it's lovely. It's brought back a lot of kind of nostalgic memories of those rehearsals in this cottage years ago. Is it a challenging piece to play? Yeah. Kevin Feige's has been the musical director for this extraordinary event that um, has been pulled together in the memory of Keith Tippett. So how's this journey been for you, Kevin? Um, quite intense. Um, and uh, a vast majority of the work has been preparing the charts for it, really. Um, listening through to the recordings and uh, uh, getting the music together. And uh, because I haven't had full charts, I've had some sort of sections of charts. I've had to uh, recreate the whole thing. <laughs> So how easy or difficult was it to arrive at what you were going to perform, which pieces, which lineups? Um, the, the From Ground to Wind was, was a fairly easy decision because uh, I played it, Ben had played it, and James had played it, and uh, uh, we did have some music, not all of it, some music for it, and a recording to listen to, so that was, and obviously uh, we recorded it with Keith. And what's your um, favourite Keith joke? Can you remember any Keith jokes? Uh, not that they're repeatable, really. <laughs> no. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs>